I was asked to deliver the eulogy. Um, so today we're paying our respects for Jason Whitlock. I want to cover a few things about this guy, Jason Whitlock. And I haven't heard his name in literally over a decade. He was a guy in the sports world. I used to be in the sports world, played sports, watched sports, was a part of sports. And um, it's just a sad day. Um, Alejandro, is everything OK with uh, everything in the back of the church? OK. No problem. Sorry, there's some noise back there. There was a, a man crying. Could have been his friend. Could have been his lover. I don't know. People say certain things. It's weird. I don't know what's going on. But just give me a thumbs up if everything's okay in the back of the church. Thank God. Um, now, today we're gathered to pay our respects. Now, here's what I do. Here's the deal. Now, I, some of you might be saying one of the following three things about the irrelevant, washed up has been uh, whose career is completely gone, Jason Whitlock, you might be saying, all right, one of three camps. Number, number one, who the hell is Jason Whitlock? Um, like Alejandra, what are your thoughts on Jason Whitlock? Who's that guy? I've never heard of him. You don't know him? I'm not in sports, girl. You're not in sports. But he does culture, he does things that are going out there. You've never heard his name whatsoever? No, at all. Okay. So most people are going to probably fall into that camp. I'm sorry, Jason. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, then there's going to be a second camp. There's going to be people that are going to say, yeah, I, I kind of remember him from like the sports stuff that he did back in the day with ESPN or Fox Sports. I don't really remember, but what the hell happened to that guy? Uh, a lot of people are asking that. Um, but I got news for you guys. The people that don't know this guy and the people that want to wonder, wonder what the hell happened to him, he actually has a show still on The Blaze. It's called Fearless. Um, so the third camp, you know, if you're one of his, you know, 10 to 12 fans that still listen to what he's doing these days, kudos to you, respects to you. I don't know why you didn't show up, uh, for the funeral, for his career, for his career, just to be clear, not him. I don't need people thinking that I'm doing weird things. It's a funeral for his career. And I was asked to do the eulogy again, uh, cause no one else showed up. Um, now this man is known as to be fearless. Um, I'm going to tell you today why he should probably change his name from fearless to friendless. There's a lot of people that want to know what happened to that guy. There's a lot of people that want to know what happened to my friend. Well, a lot of people don't want to be his friend anymore. So fearless, we're going to talk about that um, and why he's irrelevant and why basically uh, he's a walking, talking contradiction. So with the friend uh, Alejandro that I have here today, we're going to focus on three major subjects. We're going to talk about his beef with... Stephen A. Smith and how my CEO, friend, mentor, uh, PBD, got caught up in the mix with this. That's number one. Number two, we're going to have a deep discussion about religion and money, taboo topics that you're not supposed to discuss. And then number three, he came after me because I didn't do my research or I was quote unquote uninformed. Uh, there's a difference between being uninformed and just being completely dumbfounded that he still exists. So that's where I'm at with this gentleman today. So with Alejandro today, we're going to be reacting uh, to a video he just did on his channel on The Blaze. Uh, now, I don't know about you guys. When I think of The Blaze, I think of Glenn Beck and I think of politics. That's me. I don't know. You guys let me know. By the way, can we do a poll? Do you know how to do a poll? Yeah. We do a poll. Thoughts on Jason Whitlock. Oh, that's, that's my guy. Love that guy. I used to maybe know him. He's kind of relevant now. Or who is he? That's kind of what I would like to know. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But uh, before you do that, Alejandro, we're going to show the thumbnail where he basically called out PBD, and he called out Stephen A. Smith, and he called out myself. So we had to respond. Did I want to respond? Did I want to do a whole episode on Jason Whitlock? No. But this is where we're at today. This is the episode that he did. If we can punch in, it's the middle episode. Um, it has more views than... Uh, most of the content that he's done in quite a long time. He did this about two days ago. It's about an hour reaction. It's about 93,000 views. One day ago, Jason Whitlock responds to Patrick Bet David and he calls him Patrick Plant David. So we're gonna be discussing this video right here um, with his beef with Patrick Bet David and with PBD, uh, the irrelevant, the erroneous, the inconsequential, the has been that is known as Jason Whitlock for doing this reaction. So um, 
If you want to start this video, that's where we're going to we're going to kick these things off. He basically says that PBD is a quote unquote plant. Patrick Bet David thinks he's slick. He's not nearly Dale. as slick One and a half as he speed. thinks. Uh, last week, late last week, he tried to drag Sage Steele into his feud or dispute with me. I've seen the technique uh, that Patrick Bet David is using. I've seen it before. I've seen it from other people that I consider plants that are installed to be influencers in the podcast and in the internet influencer space. Uh, but I want to play you this clip of him trying to drag Sage Steele into something that Sage Steele has nothing to do with. Play the clip. Thoughts on uh, 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 working with Jason Whitlock? Because I know there was a feud between Jason and, and Stephen A, and you work with both of them. Uh, uh, I didn't get to work real hands-on with, with Jason. I think he oh, was you did. in and out. Oh, okay. He was never on SportsCenter, et cetera. I worked with Stephen uh, A. a hundred <clears throat> times, especially during the NBA Finals on the road. Yes. I always loved it because you could throw any. That's how it starts off. Patrick, ben da ba ba Patrick Plant David, I can't even say it because it's so ridiculous. Patrick Plant David um, thinks he's slick. He's a plant. Um, so we're going to talk about that. So, uh, by the way, can you show the pictures of Stephen A. Smith on the podcast and also Sage Steele, just as context for everyone out there that's saying, who the hell is Jason Whitlock? Why are you talking about Jason Whitlock? Saz, you usually talk money, relationships, dating, politics, culture. Why are you talking about this irrelevant has been? But I'm giving you some context. Here was Stephen A. Smith on the podcast. There's an image right there. Uh, there's Stephen A. Smith, had an awesome conversation. Um, and then a couple weeks later, we just had Sage Steele on the podcast. So listen, guys, uh, there she is right there. We're talking sports, we're talking culture, we're talking politics. These are the people that are coming on the, on the PBD podcast when we're having these types of conversations. So he proceeds to call Patrick Beck David a plant. Now, um, if you go to 428, we can do it at one and a half speed because this guy talks very slow. I'm not sure if this is the side effects of him losing all the weight. Oh, oh, Ozempic. I think it worked for him. I don't know, he's lost about 100 pounds. Congratulations, I'm happy for you, buddy. Um, but we're going to start this video at 428 with playing it at one and a half speed. And this is what he calls out PBD. Go ahead. I think Patrick Bet David's a plant. Why I think he's very similar uh, to Stephen A. It's Smith. At one and a half. I think he's taping up for, for Stephen A. Smith. And so I, I want to walk you through this tiny bit of history. If you remember when Stephen A. Smith and I first started going back and forth, if you remember, and most people don't, Everyone thinks, oh, Whitlock just came out and critiqued Stephen A's book. It's not what happened. What happened was... Ale, let me see the Stephen timestamp on the bottom. And Shannon Sharp went on a little tour where they were trying to trash uh, people that I know and executives that I know and people that I have respect for. And they were going to go on this tour. Alejandro, you're doing a good job. Make sure the timestamps are, are what I sent you. That's amazing. Exactly what I'm going to talk about. So two things here. So he calls PBD a plan. A plan is basically installed to uh, do something that you didn't set out to do. You've been paid to do something. You didn't set out to do this. You were installed. You didn't work for it. You just kind of showed up. How did this guy get here? Patrick, but David, a plant. Are you freaking kidding me? Here's a guy born in Iran. Okay, Iran, the Islamic Republic of Iran had to flee because of the revolution of 1979. I believe he left in the late 80s, fled to a German refugee camp, uh, somehow ended up in the United States in LA, uh, in school, uh, Glendale, I believe, is where he went to school. 1.8 GPA, almost failed out of school, entered the Army. Uh, after the Army, uh, no direction, no career, no nothing going on, broke, desolate. His father has a heart attack, almost loses his father. He says, I got to get my life around. Gets into the financial sector, gets into the financial career, joins uh, a financial firm the day after 9-11. Imagine being... Um, a six foot four Iranian guy who's Christian, by the way, after 9 11, people are gonna probably feel, look at you a kind of way. Starts a company after 20 years, 20 years of working in the financial industry, working, hustling, selling, recruiting. He sells his business for hundreds of millions of dollars, begins to start doing videos a couple years before that at Valuetainment, starts with two minutes with Pat, has zero views, zero subscribers, nothing going on. 10 years later, has one of the biggest media companies on YouTube and in the digital realm, does that sound like the resume of a plant? 
I think we got a little bit twisted on that. So it's easy to come back and say, oh, this guy's got hundreds of millions of dollars. Obviously, he just kind of showed up here today and he's making all his money. He's been talking shit about me, the irrelevant Jason Whitlock. Um, I've known Pat since 2012. I can tell you for knowing a guy for almost 13, 14 years now, uh, the guy worked for this. So sorry, Jason Whitlock. Sorry, Jason Shitlock for your perspective. You're dead wrong on this one guy. But Stephen A. Smith's in the house. We just had him on the podcast the other day. You know, Stephen A. Smith, loud, vocal, talks trash, says things, but it's never really that serious. He, everyone knows he hates the Dallas Cowboys. He's talking trash about the Cowboys. He'll talk about certain players. He'll talk about LeBron. He'll talk about Durant. I've never seen him talk about someone the way that he talked about Jason Whitlock. Jason Whitlock, everyone I ask about you in the sports world, we have these people. They're just, no one has nice things to say, but no one had a worse thing to say than Stephen A. Smith. Let's play that clip. And please do not allow this to be a reflection on my character because this is not how I act every day. But I mean it from my soul when I say this is the worst human being I've ever known. I don't know of another human being worse than Jason Whitlock. He is a piece of shit. Jesus. He's the dude that's gonna have a funeral and ain't gonna be no pallbearers. Might be two people to show up. He's that dude. He is the absolute worst. And he lies. And he incriminates. And he tries to set people up to fail to big up himself because he can't do it on his own. Okay. He had so, a television show. He failed. He's had... Yeah. Well, uh, look, <laughs> that's what Stephen A. Smith said on camera. We actually had the opportunity to have dinner with Stephen A. Smith after the podcast off camera. Let me tell you a little something, something. It was worse. It was worse. Can I go to camera number two here? Let me tell you something. Um, if someone says you're the biggest piece of shit they've ever met in their life and they've been in the career for... 40 years, and that's what they say on camera. Just imagine what they're saying off camera, bro. Just imagine. Stephen A. Smith, probably the biggest name when it comes to sports. Stephen A. Smith is so freaking big, he's bigger than a lot of the sports stars that he covers. That's how big that dude is, and that's what he said about you. Check yourself, Jason Whitlock. Back to you. So that's what he had to say about that. Now, again, I talked about Stephen A. Smith. I talked about PBD. I talked about Jason Whitlock. Jason Whitlock, your show is called Fearless. I suggest you call it, change it to friendless. Because after a, a shakedown like that by Stephen A. Smith, I don't know how there's coming back from that, but yet you still here you are. Talking more trash about PBD and what we do here on Valuetainment. This all started, you might say, why, does, why is this even a thing? Why is Jason Whitlock coming out of your mouth? Why is this even a thing? Why are you giving him more shine than he deserves? I know, I get it again. Hadn't heard his name in a decade until he basically was scheduled to be on the PBD podcast about a year ago. So... At 9.26, we can pull up this video right here uh, of what he basically had to say about um, coming to Valuetainment and that perspective. We won't spend a lot of time on this, but we'll give it a shot. Go ahead. Yes. Hey, what do you think about uh, Roland Martin? I was like, he's a clown. Oh, well, what did you think about uh, debating him on my show today? I was like, well, why would I do that? He's a clown. He's not interested in sincere engagement. Though that's not the pretense you got me to take time out of my own schedule, be away from my show and away from Nashville to, to wrestle with Roland Martin. I was like, man, I had Roland Martin. You can go look on the internet and it's yeah. all there. Okay. Roland Martin, five. Little context. By the way, I actually went and saw that video. It's two credible voices in their particular field. Uh, Roland Martin, culture, politics, major voice in the black community, sitting down with Jason Whitlock, Pretty big name in the sports world and in the culture world at the time. Not so much now, obviously. Two grown men having a conversation. Guys, I've sat down with people on the far left, on the far right. Anytime I on PPD Podcast or whether it's even on Sauscast, I've had people that are like, why would you have this person on your show? How could you do something with this guy? Would you? Are, are you kidding me? You, this guy is so far right. The people on the left being like, I, you would sit down with a communist, socialist, Marxist? Yes. You would sit down with a neo-Nazi, a right-winger? Yes. Because I believe in conversations. That's where you find the truth. 
This guy, Jason Whitlock, is at the studio. He's there. He's sitting there. They said you're going to be a part of a panel. He shows up. He hears that Roland Martin is there and literally, literally runs off. Runs off. Now, he didn't say, hey, guys, this ain't for me. He said, I ain't part of this. Walked off. Ran. What kind of grown-ass man runs away when you're in the studio? from another grown ass man that wants to debate you. By the way, some speculate, I don't know, that it wasn't even big about Roland Marlin. I think he was scared of the biz doc. Who's scared of the biz doc? Now, if you're gonna be uh, having a intellectual debate with the biz doc, I understand. But just the intimidation factor of Tom Ellsworth, the big doc, Jason, grow up, bro. You're supposed to be known as fearless. Now, again, I suggest you change your, your show to Friendless because of the shakedown that, uh, the strip down that Stephen A. Smith did to you. But, um, you know, they say there's two things about fear. Fear, you can face everything and rise. Fear, or you can forget everything and run. Which one did you do, homeboy? You forgot everything and ran and ran out the door and walked away from a conversation, from a debate. Um, you said, quote, unquote, this is the most fearless talk show in history. Um, really, the only th people fearing you uh, is an audience at this point. Because uh, I've seen your numbers, and um, it's looking pretty bad. That's like the equivalent being fearless of saying, yeah, I have a podcast called uh, Religiousness. And someone says, hey, do you want to have a conversation with a priest? Not me. Hey, your podcast, Religiousness. Uh, do you want to have a conversation with a rabbi? No way. Hey, do you want to have a conversation with a mullah, a Muslim, with an Arab, with a Christian, a Buddhist? Nah, can't do it. So why the hell would you name your, con your podcast Religious or Religiousness? Who the hell names their podcast Fearless and then is scared, fearful to debate and have a conversation when you're in the room? Fear, F-E-A-R, face everything and rise. But for Jason Whitlock, guys, we know. Forget everything and run. That's his thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you like that one, click right here to watch the full SauceCast. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.